Hey guys, this is Ronnie here today from Early Bird Farms. And today I want to talk about carpenter bees. Do you have problems with them? Do they get into your wood siding or your wood poles or your or uh, on your house? Today I think I found a solution for you. Stay tuned. When dealing with carpenter bees, there's a couple different ways you can address it. Um, you can use insecticides, which is um, kind of harmful to other insects. And... Um, you know, carpenter bees are really, um, you know, they're part of the environment. We need them. Um, they serve a purpose. Not sure what their purpose is, but, you know, everything in the environment serves a purpose. So um, they have repellents. They have centrus oil that you can spray. It's something that you have to keep um, reapplying often. And they also have the little traps, which goes back to number one about the insecticides. Now, I'm not totally against insecticides. Uh, I do spray the foundation of my house to keep uh, spiders and roaches and uh, things along that, that, um, that line out of the house. I don't spray my beds in front of my house because I don't want to kill the worms and all that um, beneficial insects because insecticides, it, you know, it's one or all. It don't, it don't, it don't um, stipulate what it kills. Um, I think I found a pretty good balance of um, what to use. Um, I will say this, I do use insecticides on wasp nests. If I see them around here, I will spray them um, because they will sting my kids. And if I see uh, yellow jackets, um, now they're in the woods most of the time, I don't bother them as long as they're not in my path. Um, but on my house itself, I, I will use them. When I first moved into this house, um we we built a brick house and used uh vinyl siding on the top instead of hardy plank i didn't want any maintenance the only thing i really had to maintain are these cedar poles on my front and i have a little bit of pine boxing on uh, my front porch and back porch that's pretty much it after we moved in uh, all this was stained uh i actually stained it and uh after we moved in i noticed the carpenter bees not the first uh spring but the second spring the carpenter bees were starting to get into it not really bad <clears throat> but a little bit i do have flowers and stuff that attract bees and uh i, I don't want them damaging my boxing and um uh, i don't want them getting in my my cedar poles and, and wood and stuff so i looked online and i come across uh uh well actually i had a friend of mine who had said he made these fake wasp nests or hornet's nests and put up Sent me a picture of them, show me what they look like, and so um, he said they work great. I got on YouTube, I found a couple of videos on them, and um, this one guy said they kept wasps and carpenter bees out of here. So I said, what what really can I lose by making these? It's not really going to hurt anything. So uh, I decided to try it. I put them up in around March of this year, and. Uh, what I did was I found a brown grocery bag and I stuffed that brown grocery bag full of plastic grocery bags to give it some kind of a feel and to make it look kind of puffy. And then I spray painted it with a uh, a light um, a off white to kind of make it, or you could use gray, to kind of make it look like a, a, a paper mache hornet's nest that you'd see in a tree. Now I really don't think the color matters. I don't know if it's just the size and the shape of it or what it is but i'm telling you this thing works basically what i did was wrap clear tape around the top of it up there and i tied monofilament which is fishing line i felt i had some 20 pound fishing line that i tied to it and i got me a little white hook screwed it in up there and hung it on there and you can see it's pretty much even with my boxing. I have not had any, I had carpenter bees. Uh, now they usually come out in April in the, in the springtime when they're trying to uh, lay their larvae and stuff. Um, so there's two things I did. I put those up and I sprayed them. The paint helps protect the paper from uh, dew and moisture, helps them hold up a little bit longer. Um, and it kind of helps it blend in with my uh, porch where people can't see it. <clears throat> and I put it in the front corner of my porch. Um, so you can't really see it 
from the road too much. You can see it just a tiny bit. Um, but I'm gonna show, I'll have some pictures in here, what it looks like. And uh, I'll show you some of the holes that they got into. I hadn't actually repaired them yet. I still got to fill those in and then restain them. Here you can see one of the holes that they drilled. It's an older hole. You can tell cause the wood is not new looking. It's kind of, it's kind of like uh, changed in color. It's not a bright color. There's another spot where they got into my cedar trim. As you can see, I here's the one on the back porch. And you can see there's a hole right beside it where they got in. And here's another old hole that they got in. But I wanted to see if they would get back in it again this year. And so far, I haven't had any carpenter bees um come in now I, like i said i did see them but they never drilled any new holes and uh and the holes that they were in i never i never seen them going back in it from last year um now i would say on the wasp i did have some wasps get up under my eaves it didn't keep them away from that i hung one on my front porch one of these nests on my front porch and my back porch so um i feel like it works and it's worth a try if you hadn't tried it. It's better than the traps. It's pretty much a set it and forget it type thing. Once you hang it, you don't do anything else. You don't have to reapply nothing. You don't have any traps to empty. And it's very uh, eco-friendly. It's, it's good for the environment. Um, I will say another thing that I noticed, I had a bunch of, when they cleared my property, they piled up a bunch of logs behind my house. They were about 30, 40 yards maybe behind my house. This March, when I cleared some of my property, I took a skid steer in the bucket and I pushed this, these big old trees way away from my property. Um, when I pushed them, I did notice that there were carpenter bee holes. You can tell a carpenter bee because they'll have a, a hole drilled in wood. It'll be a perfectly 3 8 inch hole. You can take a 3 8 inch drill bit and slide it right in the hole. So I noticed a bunch of those in some of the logs. So uh, that's another thing that probably helped was getting those away from here. But like I said, I do have flowers and stuff that attract them. They come and pollinate those flowers. And um, so anyway, I wanna know, have any of you tried that? If not, uh, I recommend it. Um, like I said, it's, it don't cost anything really. You just ask for a grocery bag at the, ask for a couple brown grocery bags at the grocery store and stuff it. I wanted to share with you guys today and uh like i said just go ahead and get them up in february or march of this year of next year and see what kind of success you have with it thank y'all for watching and as always make sure you subscribe to our channel and if you like our content give us a thumbs up and share it we appreciate you having having you around and we uh we like to share things that we do around here and hopefully we'll see you around